national event. And with that many carts on the track, you really learn to, again, it's all about racing in traffic and learning to outbreak and again, time your passes. From our vantage point here, what you're looking at is the carts coming out of the grid. They're off the grid onto the race course and we are just past this vantage point. And I gotta tell you, every time I see that, especially in a class this big, it feels like I'm watching the very start of the Kentucky Derby when all the horses come out of the gate and they're off, even though it doesn't immediately get a green flag. You just know that this is gonna be good. Nine eighty three, Christian Miles, nine forty eight, James Overback. First and second, Tristan Farmer in the one eleven will start third. Cameron Reed will start fourth in the nine oh nine. Finnegan Bailiff will start fifth in the nine forty nine. of them in the back of the pack get banged around a little bit you're looking at the 958 and that is nathan guerrero he had an issue earlier today in almost that exact same spot that cosmic racing chassis the 958 of guerrero out before he ever gets a chance to actually take the green wow Let's see if we can see what happened here. Our pit road TV replay. And you can see that a lot of these carts, you know, they're still kind of weaving back and forth. And it looks like he just got ran into. Somebody from behind. You look back there on the back of your screen on the right. Oh man. Yeah, there was definitely a little bit of uh, air time involved there. And that's just, again, when you got 40 of them. Now you will, now that the tires are warmed up a little bit and you know, you sort of see that uh, everybody will take a more traditional start, but they weave back and forth. You, it, it looks like Phoenix in the NASCAR race, basically. You get them three and four wide, and they all have to kind of settle back in. K100 motors are awesome to watch on these carts. And again, this is a senior division. Oh man, one off the track over there. He'll just gather it back up and keep going. And again, an airborne situation with a wheel hop. That happens here in the beginning. One lap complete, Daniel Perez in the seven. 82 comes out with a lead. Logan Mueller back in 10th. Braden in 11th.
If you are watching us on Facebook now for our free live look in or live preview, welcome to day number one of the World Karting Association Daytona Kart Week Sprint Championships. We have seven laps to go in our KA Senior Pre-Final. Now six laps to go. And we are starting the pre-final phase of our day. These are basically heat races. Christian Miles out front in the 983, Tristan Farber second, Bailiff in third, Kelly fourth, and Pinozo fifth right now. Miles, Farber, Bailiff, Kelly, and Pinozo. And now Pinozo makes the move and takes over fourth, Perez in fifth. We've got five to go. And you're watching a battle that is taking place back in the middle of the field right now. Christian Miles with a two-second lead in that 983. He has been fast all day. Farmer second, Bailiff third, Pinozo fourth, and Perez running in fifth. And you can see a yellow waving. I don't know if that is a, no, it is, looks like a local yellow. Something going on in that part of the racetrack. In this form of racing, much like you see a lot of other forms of road racing, you can have a local yellow or a full course yellow. Two to go now. This is going by quickly. Miles, Farber, Bailiff, Pinozo, and Perez. Your top five. Then Kelly, James, Reed, Mueller, and Emerson Reed rounding out the top ten. Christian Miles is just on his way. 3.3 second advantage. He is going, going, gone. Farmer running second. Bailiff in third. You can see the little bump there as they come to the start finish. There is definitely a little bit of air time. And again, these carts are not suspended. So your body feels all of that. This is a really tough form of racing. Even at the speed these carts are traveling, it is a very physical form of racing. To be sure. Three. to go in this event Christian Miles on his way this is day number one of two days of racing here in the sprint championships for WK's Daytona Kart Week white flag coming out this time by Sometimes you get a cart that just takes off and goes. And such it is for in this race for that is your leader, Christian Miles. You can see he's got Miles behind him with no carts. I don't want to say he can coast from here because you got to make it another lap, but uh, he's got no pressure right now. That's when you would hear the spotter say nothing from behind. Christian Miles, your leader. On his way, Tristan Farber second, Bailiff third, Pinozo fourth, and Daniel Perez is fifth. White flag in the air, and Christian Miles 
is on his way. Second pre-final of the day is history, and your winner is going to be Christian Miles, unless something happens in the last little bit of the track. Christian Miles has dominated this event. There he is on his way home. He sees the checkered flag. Christian Miles will get the win. 111 of Christian Farber in second. Then again, Bailiff in third, the 343 of Oscar Pinozo fourth. Daniel Perez will finish fifth in the 782. Drew James sixth in the 929. Liam Kelly seventh in the 944. Cameron Reed eighth in the 909. James Overbeck in the 948 will finish in ninth and tenth will be the 989 of Emerson Reed. Again, all of that's unofficial pending tech, but certainly for James Overbeck, that is not the finish he would have wanted. He'll have some work to do to dial in that chassis a little bit more. He is normally a front runner, and Overbeck will be looking to tune that chassis in just a bit as we head into our finals. Okay, so we are going to take a short break here at Daytona International Speedway. This has been a live look in on Facebook. If you like what you saw and you want to see more of it, just go to pitrow.tv and subscribe to watch the balance of the action from today and tomorrow at Daytona International Speedway. Sprint Kart Championships going on right now. We'll, we'll be back after this on pitrow.tv. Hi, my name is Nathan Bird, and I'm an American racing driver. I got into racing basically from my dad. I graduated high school in 2018. That summer, he proposed the idea of go-karts to the Indy 500 in six years. And I was like, let's do it. So two weeks later, I was in my first go-kart race, and the rest is history. Now, now here I am. My goal in racing is first and foremost to make it to the Indy 500. That's what the Bird Academy is all about, and we're doing it the interesting way, the way that no one else has done it before. So to make the grid at the Indy 500, you have to be a very skilled driver. Very few people get there, and the way we're planning on getting there is myself becoming a super diverse and skilled driver, racing all kinds of different formula cars, short track cars, midgets, sprint cars, silver crowns, super modifieds, all kinds of sport cars, touring cars, and that's the way we're doing, and I think we can get there. We're starting this Bird Academy journey with you guys here at Mid-Ohio, where we're going to be racing the F1000 car and the F2000 car with the Rod Drive Motorsports. The F1000 car is lighter and faster, and the F2000 car is heavier and slower. So going back and forth is going to be a big challenge, and that's sort of why we're here doing what we're doing. The first time we got on track on Saturday was for the F2000 car for qualifying one. We were going out on a wet track. I love the rain. I love racing in the rain. Unfortunately, the session got black flagged two times, 